Now we have a couple versions of the model here. Now note this here, this casting here, or the silicone mold, was from 2012. And that was the first try at doing a silicone mold for doing this concrete casting. It actually turned out, it turned out well. Uh, it had some errors uh, in the fin area, up in this area here. And luckily, Brian Forrester, when he was over in Egypt, went down to the Great Pyramid and he did some video footage from back in this area. And then with the help of my, with Michael Cadman, he took the video footage and then he translated all that into the model, which is actually here. This is the model. And the model has up in the fin area, he, he changed this model, this area here. It corrected a lot of errors that I, I personally had missed, just because I didn't have any pictures or diagrams of that area. So then once, that, once this was corrected, then we poured silicone in here. And that is this model here, this, this silicone mold here. So this is the one we're doing in 2016. This is a 2013 model. And one thing I'm doing dip, we're doing di differently this time is that on the last casting, it actually broke the fins off in this area, the hydraulic fins. And so just to make sure that didn't happen, because once this thing's sealed up, it's sealed up forever. And this is a basically 30 year or more model. So it has to be pretty indestructible. So what we did this time, we actually took silicone, that's silicone, but uh, epoxy, and then put epoxy and made the fins out of the epoxy. So now the epoxy here fits over here and then here. Those will fit in. Then we, we do the concrete mold. What will happen is that will attach permanently to these uh, veneers. So with the veneers of the, of the finned area, those will add the, the hydraulic fins as close to perfect as possible, and these are indestructible. So now that, that'll add that. And then with the concrete mold, most of the, what would be the cavitation or possible um, release of gases, such as hydrogen or oxygen, the, the ceiling itself will be out of concrete, and then the base surface of the fin area and the lower step right here, which is the, the deep part of the, this is the primary pulse area right here, this is where the pit is. And so that area will be out of solid concrete. And so that will have the most pulse possible and the fins won't absorb any sort of pulse. They're more of a hydraulic function. They, one of the main functions it does is remove gases. It removes gases through the fins, it actually channels, channels the gases back into this area here and, and in the Great Pyramid there's a notch up in this area which led up somewhere to percolate the gas out. It's either hydrogen and oxygen or some mix thereof. I, you, know, you have to run it to actually find out. So we have the veneers in 2016. So that we're doing. And then on, the, on these models, there's actually a place where the, this is where the pipes go in and out, or the shafts. So we just have to line it. And then we have to change the size of it. Where the rocks are, we have to remove we have to remove about an inch and a quarter off of each side here of this concrete casting. So this has to actually be narrower, has to be 
this thickness here, which is probably three quarters of an inch, and this is about an inch and a half, so we've got to narrow that up just to fit in the, in the rock that we're doing. So that's the primary things. Um, and then the other thing is, have to make, this will be the reflective elbow down at the bottom. And what we're going to do with this is actually put, put this at a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to pour epoxy down in here. And so that'll set at a 45 degree angle within this elbow here. And then that'll have, but th these are just reducers, so it gives the biggest reflective area possible in the, the elbow. Because this is, this is not a fluid, this, this is not a fluid elbow. This is going to be a reflective. And reflective has to do more with the compression wave. And the compression wave itself, compression wave is from the hydraulic hammer or the, it's a shock wave from the actual pit line from the valve and that actually that sends a shock wave straight up here from in this model is 38 feet away but at Giza it's about 1900 feet down to in front of the sphinx so it has to hit this 45 degree reflective elbow and then not be scattered and then shoot straight up into the core of the Great Pyramid up through the ceiling. So that's what we're we're at now. So Michael Cadman and myself are, are are busy getting this thing put together. So.